Welcome back, everyone. I know you might not think that I have green on, but trust me, I have a little bit of green on. We got the green screen behind me, so I can't have too much. But in case you're wanting some green in your life on this St. Patrick's Day, notice the trees in the background. And the reason we're zoomed in so tightly from the Santa Barbara Sky Cam is to show you that there's a lot of wind action out there tonight across much of Santa Barbara County, even parts of San Luis Obispo County, still seeing some rather strong winds coming in out of the northwest. Now, those northwest winds cool things down north of Santa Barbara. They come off the ocean, so temps here already down into the 50s, but for the south coast in Ventura County, they keep us relatively warm. 67 in Santa Barbara and right now 68 degrees in Ventura. So the winds that we've seen pretty much all afternoon long, well, they're going to stick around for at least the next few hours. A wind advisory in place for these shaded areas in Santa Barbara County up until 3 a.m. Then eventually the winds take a shift to the north and east, and as that happens, the winds die down across Santa Barbara County but pick up from Ventura County southward as they become a Santa Ana wind. And tomorrow, my forecast calls for weak to moderate Santa Ana winds in Ventura County. That advisory to the south, in effect, until 2 p.m. Also today, a lot of chop on the waters. There's a gale warning and small craft advisory in place out across our coastal waters and outer coastal waters. And closer to the coastline, it's a high surf advisory through 6 p.m. tomorrow night for these central coast beaches where sets could approach 13 to 15 feet across those exposed west and northwest facing beaches. Highs today, they were cooler in most every location on this map, except Santa Barbara and Galena. We were a little bit cooler, but not as much as everyone else saw. Highs still in the 80s across the south coast this afternoon. Not a lot out there on the satellite radar tonight. A little bit of patchy fog out towards Lompoc. And as we look at the bigger picture, the ridge of high pressure that brought us those record-breaking temps this weekend is shifting to the west. And this massive system out across the Plain States is bringing some rain and snow tonight out towards Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado, but it's also producing some very strong winds in the Rocky Mountain states, and those winds also reaching us here at home tonight as well. So for the next 24 hours, we'll see these overnight lows in blue down into the 40s and 50s. Daytime highs in this yellowish color. It's going to be warm out there tomorrow. In fact, most areas will warm by a couple of degrees tomorrow compared with what we saw today. 69 for Morro Bay. Some low 70s make it for a fantastic afternoon in Pismo. 80 tomorrow in Ojai. 77 in Santa Paula. And 78 tomorrow in Ventura. Here's your Santa Barbara seven-day forecast. It stays warm through Wednesday and then Mother Nature calls for spring to begin on Thursday, at least the new season, but not really a spring-like forecast as we cool things down quite a bit beginning Thursday with that trend pushing into the weekend. Santa Maria's seven-day forecast, mid-70s, they give way to some low 70s by the start of spring, and then some 60s, much cooler temps by the weekend. San Luis Obispo, we are flirting with 80 through Wednesday, down into the 70s on Thursday, and then some cooler 60s, some more clouds as well by the weekend. And in San Inez, we're also calling for that cool down by the weekend as well. And that is because a few storms look to move through the area, but unfortunately, I know I said the S word, storm. The storm's not packing any moisture with it. That's so, been the problem. It's been the problem all yeah. winter long, and it looks like spring starts out on the same note. All right, you're going to pull out your white wicker shoes, aren't you? I just might <laughs> and do my little dance. Can't wait yeah. to see it.